In this video, I'll be talking about Titan Revenue Solutions. Hi, I'm consumer protection attorney Bill Clanton, and I've helped hundreds of consumers, regular folks, deal with debt collection harassment, inaccurate credit reporting, and other consumer-related matters. <coughs> In this video, I'll discuss Titan Revenue Solutions, who they are, what they do, and how you can protect yourselves from them. Titan Revenue Solutions is based in Sacramento, California. They've been around since about 2011, and they have some lawsuits filed against them. Um, I don't see many in any in federal court. Um, they don't have any CFB, CFPB complaints, but they have s six or more Better Business Bureau complaints. Um, they collect a wide variety of third-party debts, um, including medical and dental, um, housing, um, car-related debts. Um, strangely, they don't have a bond on file with the Texas Secretary of State, um, so they're not, they don't have a license to collect debts in the state of Texas. Um, it could be that um, they don't collect debts in Texas, um, but it, it doesn't appear that they're a scam debt collector. It appears that they are a legitimate debt collector. They just don't collect, either don't collect debts in Texas or they do it unlicensed. Um, so Titan, as a third party debt collector, has to follow a number of laws. Um, there are three that apply to them, um, they are most commonly applied to them, are the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, the Telephone Consumer Protection Act, and the Fair Credit Reporting Act. The Fair Debt Collection Practices Act says that Titan cannot harass you, intimidate you, threaten you into paying a debt. Um, Specifically, they cannot make misrepresentations to you about the debt, including the amount of the debt, the character of the debt, or the legal status of the debt. They can't tell you that there's a suit on file and they haven't filed a lawsuit, things like that. Um, they can't tell you you owe more or less than you really owe. Um, they have to be honest and non-misleading in their communications with you. Um, they can't use profanity or obscenities in collecting the debt. They cannot call you repeatedly or continuously. They cannot use um, insults or um, obscene or profane language. Um, they cannot make misrepresentations about the debt. Or also, if they're reporting debt in your credit report and you dispute it, they have to re report it as disputed. Um, they can't add fees or costs to the debt that aren't included in the original contract. Um, also, at the start of the collection process, Titan has to send you a letter or something in writing. Um, some debt collectors are doing it by email these days. Um, but under 1692G, they have to send what, what's known as the G notice. The G notice tells you the amount of the debt, who you owe the debt to, and gives you notice of your right to dispute the debt, or request verification of the debt, and request the name of the original creditor if it's a different than the current creditor. Um, Companies often take liberties with um, the G notice. They give their own spin to it. They put their own uh, modifications into it, and turn it into something misleading or um, doesn't or something that doesn't give you full notice of your rights. So it's important to keep any letters you get from Titan, especially the first letter you get from them. Um, oftentimes, in subsequent letters, debt collectors will say a different amount than in the first letter. That can be misleading. It can be a misstatement of the amount of the debt that uh, would lead to a case under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Also, it's important to check your credit report. Um, if your credit report has a different amount than a letter or an amount given to you over the phone, then this can be the basis for a lawsuit under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Another law that I mentioned is the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. If Titan is calling you with an auto dialer, excuse me, or sending text to you with an auto dialer, then they have to have your permission before they start that. Um, you can revoke your permission at any time, but if they make calls or send you texts without your permission, there's a stiff penalty. It's $500 per message or phone call. Um, if you can show that Titan did this knowingly or willfully, you can get up to $1,500 per call. Um, as you can imagine, an auto dollar can place a lot of calls and texts very quickly, so the penalties can add up very quickly. Um, the third law that I mentioned is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, or the FCRA. The Fair Credit Reporting Act says that if Titan is going to report um, on your credit report that you owe money, they have to re make their reporting accurate and complete. So. 
um, if there is an inaccuracy or incompleteness on your credit reporting, on your credit report by Titan, you can dispute it with Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, and with Titan. Um, after you dispute it, they have to do an investigation and respond to the investigation and respond to you. If after you dispute it, the information is still not correct, then you have a case, you may have a case against Titan and the credit bureaus who failed to correct it. Look, dealing with debt collectors is no fun. But I want to help you out. If you're dealing with Titan, it's time for you to turn the tables. I'm in your corner, and I want to fight for you. I don't get paid unless we recover money in these cases. I'll evaluate your case for free. I won't charge you anything to file the case. I will, I will only get paid if I recover something for you. But I can't get started until you give me a call. Our team has the knowledge, the systems, and the experience to get Titan Recovery off your back. Give us a call today, 210-226-0800. And thanks for watching.